In this video, I will comment on the latest Solidity survey that was just released by the official team of Solidity. This is super interesting because you can compare yourself with other developers of the Solidity community in terms of experience, the tools that you use, and also learn what are the features of Solidity that are the most liked and disliked. So there are more than 1,400 developers from 100 countries that responded to this survey. The first country is America, then we have India, France, Nigeria. So I'm quite surprised about France actually, because we are a small country, but we are pretty high up in ranking. And it's really cool to see so many devs from India and Nigeria. And after that, we see a couple of European countries and we see China at the middle of the ranking. It's a bit strange that we don't have more Chinese people. So most Solidity developers are currently employed. It makes sense because Solidity developers are in high demand even during crypto winter. Which industry do you work in? So most Solidity developers work in crypto, but we have about one third that works outside of crypto. We have people who work in finance, education, gaming. So these are Web2 companies that start to add Web3 features in the product. How many years have you coded professionally? So the biggest category is between three to five years. And that makes sense because in order to understand Web3, you already need to have some foundation in Web2. We do have some junior and people also who are total beginners. So it's also possible to get started as a total beginner. How often do you contribute to open source project written in Solidity? So about half of the people do it. So contributing to open source is amazing for your personal enjoyment, but also for your career. However, it's not something that I would necessarily recommend for total beginner because you need to already have a minimum level. So which programming language do you use the most? So of course, Solidity come on top. And then we have almost half of people who use either JavaScript or TypeScript. So it really makes sense because in Web3, the JavaScript stack is really dominant. And then we have about a quarter of people who use some other languages, including more backend languages like Rust, Go, etc. And now when we ask the question, what's your favorite programming language? It's a little bit more balanced. It's almost the same between 3D, JavaScript, Python, TypeScript, and Rust also quite popular. Which operating system do you use? And it's very well balanced with the majority of people who use macOS, but a good chunk of people who use Linux and Windows. So if you can afford a Mac, I would recommend a Mac because you can get Linux compatibility, but the user experience is better. And when it comes to Windows, it used to be really annoying to do web development on Windows, but they got way better the past few years. How would you rate your Solidity experience? So we have a lot of people who consider themselves quite good at Solidity, but we still have a 50% of all respondents who have been using Solidity for less than a year. So a lot of beginners. And even though the number of respondents has tripled compared to the previous year, the result remained the same. So the competition didn't get more tough during this year. How long have you been using Solidity for? So the biggest category is between one to two years. So this confirmed that we have a lot of beginners. How long did it take to become productive with Solidity? And for more than 50% of people, it was less than six months. And for 75% of people, it was less than one year. So how often do you use Solidity? So more than 40% use it on a daily basis and 37% on a weekly basis. So we have a community that is pretty committed. Which editor do you use for writing Solidity? And here, without surprise, Visual Studio Code comes ahead. Visual Studio Code got really good the past few years. They got a ton of plugging and the user experience is really good. So I'm really not surprised. I personally use Vim because I like to use a model editor where you don't have to use the mouse at all. But for most people, I would recommend Visual Studio Code. And here, another question, which 3T related plugin do you use? So I recognize 3T extension by Juan Blanco. I think it was the first one, still very popular. And there's this other one, Hot Hot VS Code, uh, that, that's be that has become the most popular one. And there are some others that I don't know, but I like to try them. Do you use an Ethereum specific development environment? And here the top framework is Hot Hot. Then we have Remix and then we have Foundry. And in one year, Foundry made a big jump in the ranking. And for Truffle, it's the contrary. It's a big plunge. Which 3 version do you currently actively use? So yeah, of course, most people use the latest version. There is absolutely no. 
there is absolutely no reason to use an older version of Solidity except if you're trying to extend an older smart contract. Do you use a fixed point type? Most people don't. So, so that's for people who want to use decimal numbers in Solidity and currently you need a library to do that. Which fixed point library do you use? So I have to admit that I've never used any of them. But if you ever need a decimal number in your contract, you can check them out. Do you use Solidity outside of Ethereum, Mainnet and Testnet? For 53% of people, it's yes. So Ethereum is still a dominant blockchain, but we also have many others. And so in this other blockchain, Polygon Matic is on top, followed by Binance Smart Chain, Arbitrum, Avalanche, Optimism. What other smart contract language do you use? So for 50% of people that just use Solidity, and then we have 17% who use YOL, so that's basically Solidity Assembly, then Viper 10%, which is far after Solidity. And then we have some new languages like Cairo, which is getting a lot of traction, Huff, which is a low level language for the EVM. How did the Solidity developer experience change overall in the last year? So for more than 50%, they feel like there was either some improvement or a big improvement. And yes, it's my feeling as well. I think there was a lot of improvement. What do you do when you get stuck on a Solidity problem? So for most people, you go on Ethereum Stack Overflow, but I feel like it's gonna become quickly replaced by ChatGPT. Google DuckDuckGo, watch helpful tutorial videos. Eat the block is here, yeah. Which problems do you encounter multiple times? Stack too deep. Yeah, so we see this question a lot on Stack Overflow. Bytecode size limit. So maximum smart contract can be 24 kilobyte debugging issue. Yeah, that's something difficult and solidity. So it was pretty interesting. And the next step, if you want to learn how you can get started in Web3, check out my free masterclass down below. It's going to give you a full roadmap of what you need to learn to become a professional Web3 developer and what you need to do to get your first job in the space. Register down below. That's it for this video. Bye.